Hello, my name is uh, Barry Borlaug. I am a cardiologist and professor of medicine at uh, Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, in the United States. Well, we've known for a number of years uh, that SGLT2 inhibitors improve clinical status in patients with heart failure. Um, they reduce the risk of heart failure hospitalization and cardiovascular death. And this has now been shown in two recent large cardiovascular outcome trials in patients with heart failure and preserved ejection fraction, or HFPAF. Um, but these drugs were really discovered by serendipity and we haven't understood the mechanisms by which they lead to improvements in clinical status in patients with heart failure. Um, we also know that hemodynamic perturbations uh, in HFPEF, specifically elevation in left heart filling pressures at rest, and especially during exercise, are fundamental um, drivers of disease severity in HFPEF. Uh, so here we aim to determine whether treatment with the SGLT2 inhibitor dapagliflozin would favorably reduce these hemodynamic abnormalities, the increase in left heart filling pressures at rest and during exercise um, in people with HFPEF as compared to placebo. So um, this was a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled uh, trial um, testing whether uh, dapagliflozin, 10 milligrams once daily uh, for uh, 24 weeks would uh, reduce rest and exercise filling pressures as compared to placebo in people with HFPEF. And we enrolled patients with uh, heart failure and preserved EF by injection fraction of 50% or greater, um, class two to three symptoms of um, breathlessness and all patients were required uh, to display pathologic elevation in left heart filling pressures during exercise, uh, quantified by a pulmonary wedge pressure of 25 or greater during exercise. Uh, the, the, the principal finding, our primary endpoint of uh, pulmonary capillary wedge pressure at rest and during exercise uh, was met. We observed that after 24 weeks of treatment, with dapagliflozin, um, there was a significant reduction in resting and exercise pulmonary wedge pressure as compared to placebo. Uh, the magnitude of effect at rest uh, was a uh, 3.5 millimeter mercury reduction in resting wedge pressure. And uh, with exercise, we saw a greater magnitude effect of size of six millimeters of mercury. You know, heart failure is really uh, a complicated syndrome and um, it affects multiple organ systems. Um, systemic abnormalities, but fundamentally it's a hemodynamic disorder. And I think um, by demonstrating that SGLT2 inhibitors such as dapagliflozin improve the hemodynamics, um, both the left heart filling pressures, but also with incorporating rest and exercise, right atrial pressure and pulmonary artery pressure, um, this, this really tells us more about how they're working to make people feel better, um, improve quality of life and uh, reduce the risk for heart failure hospitalization. Practice is really driven um, by the trials that are looking at clinically relevant outcomes and hemodynamics um, are not that. So this isn't going to really change um, whether we should use SGLT2 inhibitors. That question has already been answered by other trials. Uh, but it's very important to understand uh, why they are helping patients. Um, this can help us to design other novel therapies. It can help us um, uh, choose appropriate patients. It can um, help patients understand why these drugs um, are helping them to feel better and um, stay out of the hospital. Um, and these are all, these are all very important um, components, I think, to understand the mechanisms by which uh, drugs lead to favorable effects on outcomes. Well, um, the Cardiovascular outcome trials have told us that we should treat people um, with HFPEF with SGLT2 inhibitors because they improve outcomes like risk of heart failure hospitalization and they improve outcomes like health status. Um, this tells us why uh, people feel better and um, that's extremely important uh, for patient education. Uh, for us to better um, individualize treatment and to um, move beyond uh, the boundaries uh, and issues with generalizability in clinical trials to think about 
um, treatment of patients from a mechanistic perspective. Um, this really provides a, a more comprehensive um, evidence base upon which we can really make the best treatment decisions for our patients. Thank <music> you.